now coming to 802.3 mac frame so this uh, ethernet frame structure contains the preamble of 56 bits of alternating ones and zeros so the field contains 7 bytes of data and that zeros and ones alert the receiving system to the coming frame and enable it to desynchronize its clock if it is out of synchronization the pattern provides an only an alert and the timing pulse so uh, 56 bit pattern allows the station to miss some bits at the beginning of the frame so the preamble is actually added to the physical layer and is not uh, formally part of the frame and next one is SFD that is start frame delimiter this field is one byte so it is usually one zero one zero one zero one one and that signals the beginner uh, beginning of the frame the actual frame the SFD wants the station or stations that this is the last chance for synchronization in case they are not synchronized the last two bits one one uh, they are the alert to the receiver that the next field is the destination address now uh, when the ethernet frame is of variable length so it needs a flag to define the beginning of the frame so that is why sfd field is being added at the physical layer the destination address the destination address is 48 bits that is uh, 60 that is 6 bytes and it contains the link layer address of the destination station or the stations so that we will discuss a little later and we have the source address which is also again 6 bytes so that is 48 uh, bits and next field is the length or the type so this field designs the uh, defines the upper layer protocol whose packet is encapsulated in this frame so this protocol can be ip arp or ospf and so on so in other word it it serves the same purpose as the protocol field in the datagram and the port number in the segment or user datagram so it is used for multiplexing and demultiplexing and the next one is the important uh, payload data so the field carries the data encapsulated from upper layer protocols it is minimum of 46 and maximum of 1500 bytes so the size of the uh, mac frame may vary from minimum to maximum and if the data coming from the upper layer is more than 1500 bytes it should be fragmented and encapsulated in more than one frame and if it is less than 46 bytes it needs to be padded with extra zeros the padded data frame is delivered to the upper uh, layer protocol as it is uh, uh, it will remove the padding and finally the last four bytes are crc that is cyclic redundancy check so this is for error detection information and normal standard uh, protocol used for that is crc 32 uh, technique which, uh, which is calculated over the addresses types and data field also and so when you think about the length of the frame there can be a minimum length and the maximum frame length so when the destination address is 6 bytes fixed source address is 6 bytes fixed length of the PDU is 2 bytes the data can vary from 46 bytes to 1500 bytes and CRC is fixed to 4 bytes so totally the minimum frame length can be 64 bytes and the maximum can be 1518 bytes so this is 512 bits to 12,000 
144 bits.